Welcome once again to Shelf Life Online Book Reviews. Uh, this week we're bringing to you your attention two great fiction titles that are definitely books that you will have a hard time putting down. The first one is Lisa Unger's Confessions on the 745. This is published by Park Row Books and it retails for $34.99. Um, Lisa Unger is um, known for several other books including The Stranger in Inside. Uh, she writes very well. Her characters are always so down to earth and they're very unpredictable too. But in this book, um, a girl by the name of Selena Murphy, um, she has a uh, sort of nanny by the name of Geneva and she found finds that he, she has been having an affair with her husband Graham and uh, Selena doesn't know what to do. So anyway, she takes the train um, just, just to get away from it all and she sits alongside this woman who says her name is Martha. Now they get into extensive talk, you know, Mar Martha supposedly had problems with men in her life and she's having an affair with a married man and it's very complicated. So when Selena leaves the train, she thinks that's the last she's ever going to um, hear from Martha. But uh, it's not too long a after that, that um, a message suddenly comes to her phone and it's, um, basically says, hi, it's me, Martha, from the train. And um, Selena knows there's going to be a problem. But anyways, um, Geneva, who she is ready to dismiss from work, um, taking care of her two children, Geneva suddenly vanishes. And it's almost as if either Selena or the husband Graham had something to do with it. Uh, the police start investigating. Meantime, she gets more messages from this, hi, it's me, Martha, from the train. And as we see, the book is told through the points of view mainly of Selena and Martha, who is also known as Anne in the book. And so, but it's very complex, very dark, very disturbing. Uh, is Geneva still alive? And who is Geneva? So, but as we find out, and without telling you too much of what's happening, uh, there's a connection between Geneva and Martha. We'll just leave it at that. And uh, we see that there are other uh, deaths that take place and just who is behind them. Is there a killer out there or is it very close to home? But anyways, Confessions on the 745 is really a book that you will find most engrossing, the sort of book that you will have a hard time putting down. So once again, if you're looking for a great book, Lisa Unger's Confessions on the 745 is the one you should seek out at your bookstore. The second book of note that I'd like to draw to your attention is Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. This is published by Atria and it retails for $24.99. This is another book that you're going to have trouble putting down once you begin reading. It, does, it um, revolves around the life of Owen Pick. He's in his 30s. Uh, he's um, a virgin still and he is sort of um, shy around women, but he also does have uh, another side. He's a teacher at, at a school and he's suspended because of inappropriate remarks and actions to women. Now, um, there's a girl, uh, also part of it, she's 17 years, 17 years old, her name is Sapphire Maddox, and she's going to a psychologist. Uh, his, um, his name is Rowan, and um, although she is done with the, with the uh, sessions, she is obsessed with him and um, Owen uh, lives with his wife Kate and um, that's Kate with a C-A-T-E. Uh, she suspects her husband is you know perhaps being intimate with some of his clients including Sapphire. So uh, it's interesting that uh, Sapphire suddenly disappears but um, this is where Owen Pick comes into the picture. Her blood is found outside his window and there are witnesses that think that she was there uh, over at his place the night he disappeared. Now Owen lives with his Aunt Tessie who is really a very strange woman. She won't let him go to the main part of the house. She almost treats him like an outsider, like he doesn't belong. So um, Owen becomes sort of an introvert at times. He's also obsessed with um, websites that are, well they're called incel websites and they're like date rape, um, that type of insight or in sites. And um, 
So the police start investigating him. They do a search of his house and they find in, in his drawer uh, a date rape drug that he was given by uh, another dark figure who was on the dark net. And he, he is holding on to the drug for him. Now, it becomes very complex. The book is told through the viewpoints of Sapphire, Kate, and Owen. And as we find, there is a dark side to pretty well everybody. Um, Kate um, almost wants to get away from her husband. Um, and she wonders what happened to Sapphire, as does Owen. So the deeper we get into the book, the deeper the mystery continues. And the, the mystery just gets overblown, full-blown. It, it becomes, okay, is Sapphire alive? Is she dead? Is Owen really a killer or, or just um, a shy virgin who does strange and stupid things because he's so awkward around women? But uh, we find a big twist toward the end, end of the book. And obviously I'm not going to tell you that would spoil the end of the book. But um, it's, it's very intriguing, very engrossing, and um, just as highly recommended as the first book that was reviewed. So if you're looking for another book, um, along with Confessions on the 745, Invisible Girl is a book that you really need to seek out. So those are the two books this week. I hope you've enjoyed the reviews. Uh, please seek these reviews out. Um, if you're seeing this review on Shelf Life's Facebook page, uh, you can also see these same reviews on the YouTube Shelf Life Book Reviews page. So there are currently 42 books or book reviews on each site. So hopefully you're getting um, some book uh, information when you're looking for that book that you want to read next. Hopefully we're helping you make that decision easier. So thank you once again from Shelf Life Online. Um, send me your comments as always and thank you. Stay social distancing, stay well, stay safe, stay sane and stay healthy. Thanks for, thanks for today and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.